Hey everyone, in this video we'll be talking about battery technology and this is one of the research article by Harvard Studies and this is just part one of many parts and I'll let you know in the further video, upcoming videos but what this study has been presenting us is the whole concept on batteries that are being used in electric vehicles and how far have we progressed from what we were at so let's first and foremost see the battery improvements uh, using six years of timeline. So through the bullet points, as you can see, uh, we can see that today battery cells have higher energy densities and are much less expensive on per kilowatt hour basis than they were just a few um, years ago. And one of the batteries that we use is a lithium ion battery and that it it is also known as li ion battery cells now this battery cells are a bulk of investment and they are being preferred by many uh, manufacturing giants and i have named them such as lg panasonic samsung and these are just the three largest producers of this lithium ion cells that we are currently using in our electric powered cars now comes lithium metal technology. This metal technology are actually much higher energy densities and currently are being in development. However, currently because of the economics of scale, the production scale is lacking and they have established supply chains for advantages, but still the demand has not been required or has not met enough of the supply. All right. Now, when we talk about battery, what do we actually mean? Well, whenever a battery is used, it is implied uh, the cost of individual cells. Either it is a cost of individual cells, the bat battery pack, or perhaps the battery pack that is already being installed in a vehicle itself. That is, for instance, if you go to Tesla.com and go ahead and buy a new vehicle you get a battery which is has a duty cycle or perhaps a life cycle of 10 years and it's already being installed the final cost is then displayed so there are different ways you can buy batteries and these are the three different ways you could and what the final cost is is what a consumer pays after any manufacturer markup price is being applied all right now to continue this, we can see from what we were, there is a, a sharp downward trend in cost of lithium ion cells. However, it is clear how from a baseline about 1000 per kilowatt hour for installed battery cell manufacturing costs have declined about 70% since 2010 due to economics of scale. So before it used to be one thousand dollars per kilowatt hour and like i mentioned now it's just something so steep down which is being reduced to 70 percent from where was it at at 2010 because the whole idea the notion of electric vehicle was not that popular and therefore the economics of scale was not merely met now this holds across different configuration and chemical composition and is the largest contributor to observed cost declines now with this average of eight percent deduction it doubles the volume every year after the 2010 so what's it trying to say is basically to put in simpler words is that the after the year of 2010 the manufacturing of lithium ion batteries have been increasing in such a pace that it's been decreasing what the amount per kilowatt hour what we used to pay by every year doubled so that mathematically it was eight percent cost reduction all right now to put things in perspective what was it back then the price the details everything mere information that you might want to know is given here all right so let's talk about it so lithium ion cells could cost probably around 150 per kilowatt hour at the end of 2016 and we can see from 2010 to 2016 we have came down to about $850 $850 per kilowatt hour 
currently now at the end of 2016 it was 150 dollars and 2010 it was 1000 dollars all right so just to put things into perspective and we can put the additional cost of 70 to 100 dollars per kilowatt hour to convert the cells into a battery pack so what usually happens is that you have cells so many amount of cells stored in a battery pack to increase the volume of your battery to to put things in perspective again the larger the volume the more kilo kilo kilometer or miles your car can go all right so there's a McKinsey study and in this study there are figures that uh, correspond with more optimistic end of projections from earlier cited which was 227 per kilowatt hour in 2016 and that almost reduced to 150 and as you can see if you were to add about 150 to the amount of charge it would take to convert this into a battery pack we can see that what really the actual price is it could be around 227 or perhaps even more and this is the projectile for two, uh, 2016 all right so what did the u.s department of energy did to decrease the current cost when it was 2016 all right so what they did was they put battery pack cost for 14 kilowatt hour plug-in hybrids and they mentioned and upraised the whole idea of hybrid electric vehicles so that people would start understanding and applying that notion and using that notion to buy their next purchase would be an electric vehicle doing so that would meet the economics of scale furthermore reducing the price of the each battery cells or perhaps the lithium-ion cells all right doing so this came out to be 289 per kilowatt hour at 2015 which was still a lot more than the price i mentioned before all right now what our projectile tells us is that by the end of 2020 our price from 2027 per kilowatt hour which was in 2016 may reduce to 190 per kilowatt hour now do know that we have still to install and fit the battery cells into a battery pack in order to generate a perhaps a total cost doing so in continuation and there are different operation that goes into it which i'll talk about it so the total cost of electric battery by the end of 2017 was around 2050 to 350 per kilowatt hour this is excluding the customer service to put the cells in a battery pack again uh, because of the competitive pressure builds technological improvements and a large-scale production and a large-scale demand for it to meet it so the economics of scale would perhaps qualify the cost is going down all right so there are different stages of production and when you try to whenever a mention whenever someone mentions about the fact that hey we have to convert this or put this battery cells the lithium-ion battery cells into a storage unit to make it a battery pack what really happens is first the customer buy buys the lithium-ion cells from the cell manufacturer which is around 145 dollars the pack assembly which is arranging cells into a battery pack then pack covering and preparation so what really happens is that the step procedure does not stop when the cells are put in the battery pack you have to cover it with the protective materials once the protective materials are done it's ready for installation and then once the installation is ready you have to install it in your vehicle using wiring circuitry and inverters so doing so might really take around uh, 2015 to 245 dollars and using McKinsey study it says that uh, in 2020 it might drop this price because of the large demand it might come down to seventy to hundred dollars per installation of the battery cells 
Now, for total cost of a consumer, we can uh, deduce um, this amount from the actual amount by $100 as an approximate, but still, at average, we get around $245 to $345, depending on the battery cell size and battery pack size that the consumer really buys. All right. For conclusion for our part one video, we, we really want to know what the challenges are for the wider development. For one, the decline per kilowatt hour cost batteries is happening at the same time that the battery pack size are increasing. So what does this tell us is that although the size are getting bigger, the price are getting smaller. And it's beneficial for a consumer because if a consumer buys bigger volume of battery cells, the more further and more practical application a customer can do with that. All right, so to put this in a practical example, we have a base model called Nis uh, Nissan Leaf. And before when the first generation of Nissan Leaf came out, it was actually 24 kilowatt hour. However, in the second iteration, it came down to it came up to 30 kilowatt hour, and once that was successful, people found out hey the economics of scales are meeting, and the second generation was then 40 kilowatt hour, and this was announced in September 2017. If we were to take Tesla for example, it has been growing as well. It was 60 kilowatt hour. Uh, to 70 kilowatt hour and then recently in August 2016 they changed it to 100 kilowatt hour maybe in future of 2021 2020 we can see the future holds more battery packs and much more liable resources for us which are really affordable for a normal consumer who would not buy an electric vehicle currently all right so in all the affordable supplies of critical materials for battery manufacturing, notable cobalt, may be placed under pressure, while assembly plants will require large capital investment to scale up EV production su sufficiently. And this is it for today's video, and I'll keep posting more about this Harvard studies. As you know, the studies are pretty long, so I'll have subjuncted this videos into several videos so that a user might get a proper uh, benefit out of this videos by not having to read through the whole article all right so i hope you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching